Hey everyone, Team UDF here for some Team UDF news, and holy crap, what game is this? But anyway, let's have a general update to kick things off. Um, the semester hasn't even started yet. It actually starts next Monday, the 25th. Um, and I'm already feeling kind of swamped and, yeah, uh, lack of creativity kind of all over the place right now. Um, here's how this semester will go, as I'm teaching four classes, and I'm taking two master's degree classes, so that's six new classes. And all the classes I'm teaching are brand new, like, uh, brand new to me, not necessarily to, like, the department, but I've never taught them before. So I have to learn those classes as well, in addition to balancing the things that I'm taking, and, like, trying to do my writing and my game design and my YouTube and everything. So, yeah, just kind of a heads up in case things go horribly wrong later down the line. And, yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to our first topic of the day. Hey, look! It's Minecraft! Wow, we haven't seen this in a while. So, after getting some recent comments on my old Minecraft stuff, and kind of coming into the server to screw around with things here, uh, particularly to uh, play the game with Evan and Moosh and all them, I started to realize that, wow, I, I really treated the Minecraft series back in the day like kind of a podcast where I would just talk about random things amidst running around and having this gameplay in the background. Uh, I really like that idea because sometimes I just want to talk about random things and it's not horribly uh, relevant to the current series that I'm LPing. Uh, however, I feel I can get away with that a lot more in Minecraft because there's, you know, there's not a whole bunch of definitive things going on in Minecraft. You pretty much do whatever you want in Minecraft. So I don't know. I have some interest in recording more Minecraft. I don't know if you guys would be interested. Well, I don't know. That's probably a silly question. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, I'll probably expect some more Minecraft in the future, if only so I can talk about random things and, of course, play around. We might have some dual commentary episodes as well, uh, because this is a multiplayer server I'm in right now. I'm actually the only one on currently. That's a private server, so let's, uh, let's get that out of the way. It's a private server for the ZC group and I. Uh, it also uses the Feed the Beast mods. You might notice a whole bunch of really, uh, unfamiliar looking items in my, you know, my inventory here. We have quite a few ones. Quite a few fun ones, anyway. I also have this lovely jetpack, so this is this is quite fun. Jetpack time, son. It even has the thing. Um, so yes, uh, I kind of feel like doing some more Minecraft, if only to screw around and talk about things. However, I don't think I'm going to start from scratch. Like, I've already built this wonderful ice palace of mine, and uh, Evan has already given me some items. I've crafted a whole bunch of things myself. Here's a nice shot of the ice palace at night. Uh, so I don't know if I want to start over because it would be a little too long-winded and I don't have much of an interest in regaining all the items I've already gained. Uh, so, again, it won't be like a start from scratch kind of thing, but I do want to, like, uh, I don't know, record me running around and building some things. Like, this is really meant to be like an adventure dungeon eventually. I'm, I'm trying to build some... Uh, playable dungeons and things. I don't know if I'll release any of them, but I just kind of want to screw around in my downtime and mess around with some Minecraft. So yeah, I don't know. We could have Minecraft act as like a podcast or random storytelling or just gaming discussion or whatever. Uh, but again, probably don't expect me to start from scratch or anything. Uh, there are also some things I want to show off, which I'll probably do a separate video for. Like this ice palace, for example, I kind of want to show off. So yes, more Minecraft may in fact be coming at long last. Okay, the next topic is WWE 2K14. Uh, you'll notice I haven't uploaded in a while, despite me saying that I have recorded a whole bunch of stuff, which is actually still true. Uh, the problem is, the editing is absolutely killing me. I didn't realize how much trouble this editing would eventually become. And it's getting really freaking annoying, so um, I'm not going to give up on it. However, I do want to point out that even if I do not get 2K15, uh, I will at least still find some time in the future to edit everything I've currently recorded in 2K14 and upload it. And uh, the server kind of lagged, so I did not get to activate my jetpack. But that is okay. The server's kind of been doing that a lot lately, I guess. In any case, um, oh, what I'm trying to do actually for 2K15 is I I know this is a long shot. I've I've seen people debate about it. I know 
You don't have to point it out to me that it's a long shot. I know it's a long shot. I am holding out that 2K15 will be released on PC because it will be a lot easier to record on PC mainly. That's really my only major concern here is I'm trying to find a way to make it easier to edit these, these freaking episodes because, holy crap, when I add cutscenes and things, it's just way too much work. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I actually have to convert my MP4s into AVI files because... Uh, apparently MP4 is, like, not supported by any major editing software. I don't know why. I'm, I'm sure people have found a way to make it work, but for some reason it's just not happening for me in particular. Uh, so I have to do all this backwards stuff to actually make it work. And then I have to get to the actual editing itself. Uh, how WWE 2K14 currently works is I record everything in one fell swoop. Everything is one giant scene, uh, including all the, the multiple takes I might have to do and whatever. So I have to, like load in this one-hour episode into Camtasia or whatever I'm trying to use at the time. I've been experimenting with uh, some new editing software lately. And then I have to cut out everything I don't want in there. And finally, I get, like, the 30-minute finished product. So it's, it's, a, it's a little insane. Uh, but, yeah. I really... I do still have an interest in universe mode. It, it is a lot of fun when I'm just able to mess around with commentary in the matches, but when it comes to the editing, holy crap, am I vastly annoyed by this. So yeah, I don't know about the future of universe mode. I also had an idea to do a created wrestler universe mode. The only problem is that I would need I would need the amount of created wrestlers in order to do this. I'll probably have to make a separate video on this because I'm sure not everybody watching Team UDF News even watches uh, WWE 2K14 and vice versa, so I don't know. Uh, probably we can have that be enough conversation for this right now. And let's go to the next topic. The next topic, as I realize how really weird that this loading is in Minecraft here lately. Anyway, the next topic is the Twitch archive. Chipsy! Anyway, um, the Twitch archive... Uh, for those of you who haven't been following Twitch.tv's uh, actions with the Google and whatever, and I don't even care if this is Google's fault or not, I really don't, um, Twitch is getting rid of the past broadcast archive at some point. There are some episodes of that I want to retain, particularly the why is this even a thing, and uh, maybe some past A Link to the Past races, <laughs> puns, uh, maybe some other smaller videos. Uh, so at some point, probably this week, I'm going to start uploading a whole bunch of random things that are labeled as archive. Uh, so just so everybody doesn't get confused, I'm going to leave them public in case you want to watch them. Maybe you haven't seen them in the past or weren't able to catch a stream or whatever. But I'm mainly doing this to create a Twitch archive playlist so I don't have to lose my past broadcast just because Twitch is getting rid of that feature. So yes, expect some random things to show up uh, as well as an archive playlist. And the last scheduled thing, lag, that I want to talk about is uh, Zelda Classic. I have a bunch of Zelda Classic recorded, so that's ready to go. Even though I'm kind of in a creative stoop right now, I don't, I don't know if it's because of work or if I'm just burnt out or whatever. But yeah, um, I have a lot of ZCLP stuff coming. Uh, of course, the finish to Depressive Donuts. I have I Hate Mayonnaise One that I'm going to upload right after that. I have a really horrible quest that I'm going to upload after that. And then I believe we will finally get to Isle of Rebirth. At some point, I may break in the action for some Link's Awakening, because I've wanted to do a blind run of Link's Awakening DX for quite some time now, uh, particularly as a blind run, and I've never played it before. That's the term blind. Uh, but yes, as far as Lost Lineage goes, for those of you who don't know, I released AU on Pure ZC. It's actually getting a uh, much more positive reception than I was hoping for, so I'm, I'm very happy about that. Thank you to everybody who's been supporting the quest so far. Uh, as far as Lost Lineage goes, I am forced to slow down. This is mostly, admittedly, my fault, because I was building things that relied on scripts that other people were going to write for me. So if they didn't have the time to write the script or decided to not write the script at all and just kind of turn down the, the initial offer, um, there are things in the game that I can't playtest now as a result of this. So yes, unfortunately... Lost Lineage may slow down just a tad. I still do intend on being a lot more public with progress on the game, as opposed to AU. AU worked out fine, but it was... I just couldn't get into it sometimes, mainly because I didn't have any dialogue going, or maybe the game wasn't uh, getting feedback because I wasn't saying anything about it. So Lost Lineage, I want to 
say some more things about, maybe show off some demos, maybe some playable demos at that. I may participate in the Piers EC Fall 2 uh, 2014 Expo even. That will allow me to release playable demos and screenshots, maybe some trailer videos and things. I really want to get Lost Lineage done sometime by next year if it really goes on that long. And it probably will go on that long because I'm overhauling the game. I don't like the old version of the game anymore, especially now that AU is out. It just looks bad in comparison, I think. So I want to add a whole bunch of new stuff to Lost Lineage, and hopefully you guys have a good time with that one as well in the sequel to the Lost Lineage series in which it has a game called Lost Lineage. Good for me. That's what's going on with ZC stuff. So yes, I don't know. I'm out of things to talk about. Ah, I guess I can talk about one more thing. Let's go to another topic. Tales from Cyrodiil. I actually started working on 15 as well as something else. I have two things going at the same time right now for Tales from Cyrodiil. So if you enjoy Tales from Cyrodiil, you should really look forward to that. The disclaimer I will make, though, is I really wanted one of them to be done before I got back to school which means I would basically have to release it within the next five days. I know that's not going to happen. I will make you aware that it exists, though, just so you don't think I'm not doing anything. I don't know when it will appear. It was initially going to be a summer 2014 special episode. However, now it might have to be a fall 2014 special episode, but at least you'll maybe get Tales 15 around the same time. So, yes. Something you can look forward to in the... Summer 14 special is a new voice actor. As a matter of fact, well, I, I, maybe the new voice actor is kind of hanging around in here with me right now. So yeah, so there's something brand new coming in Tales. It has no place right now in the current timeline. It's just kind of going to stand on its own. It will suggest that it belongs somewhere in the timeline. Uh, what I basically mean by this is, uh, consider the 14 episodes of Tales from Cyrodiil that I've released right now. I don't intend for this special to take place in like in between any particular of these 14 episodes. Right now it's just kind of there. It does have a place in the overall timeline though, which will be pointed out uh, via exposition and whatever. So yes, something special coming for, for Tales. What is it? Well, it's a mystery. Ooh, you'll have to stay tuned for like 5,000 more years in order to get it. Yay! Celestial Gateway. Okay, wait, wait, wait. It's time for one of my infamous swerve edits because I, I totally forgot to bring something up in the episode itself. I want to make everyone aware of one thing right now. I have canceled my ESO subscription. Mainly, mainly because I caught myself not investing enough time into it. I was not able to justify the purchase. However, Gruntman and I intend to do a video on our overall ESO thoughts. I will mostly reserve it for my thoughts. I know he's got his own thing on his channel. However, there were some things that he wanted to bring up, so I'm going to, like, let him come into my video and uh, nicely uh, comment on some of the things that he thought about ESO on his way out as well. So I, I, I am sorry for everyone who uh, maybe didn't get to play ESO with me or something, or if you had fun playing ESO and are now realizing that we're not going to be playing more ESO on the channel. I also apologize for that, but again, with things coming up and me wanting to do other projects, I just was not investing enough time into ESO to justify the purchase. I also have a couple small gripes with the game, but again, I'll leave my thoughts to that thoughts video, which I don't know when that'll be up. Grunt and I have literally been planning this since I think mid-June or something, and now here we are in mid-August, and we still haven't done it. I don't know, maybe I can convince myself to do it now that it's uh, it's public that this thing is a, a coming attraction. So yes, uh, some ESO discussion video coming at some point, and yes, there's that. Alright, I think that's it for Team UDF News. I have nothing else to really say, so just as kind of a recap, I'm getting burnt out even though the semester hasn't started yet. So in, in case things slow down on the channel again, I do apologize, but... Sometimes I just can't bring myself to do it when I have all these other things going on. I'm hoping to get back to some writing, some ZC. Tales, of course, is always a great thing, especially now that I have really good ideas for Tales. I think I seriously have some good ideas for Tales. If I can't get all of them in video form, I will definitely start writing Tales Universe and distributing that, because that's going to be a ton of fun as well. But yes, I'll see you for some more Minecraft, hopefully.
maybe some podcast type series. I don't know if I'll record it in Fraps though. I'm, basi I'm basically using this as a test to see if it works in Fraps. If it doesn't, I will try OBS or something else. But yes, uh, WWE editing will hopefully stop sucking. Let me know if you do watch the series. Let me know what you think about the created wrestler universe mode idea, or if you would prefer that I just continue my thing. I also have another idea that, oh man, I should just do another video for this. Okay, we'll do another video for that. And I'll see you next time for more Team UDF Gaming, also the Twitch Archive. Thanks for watching, everyone. Boy!